getting real at the Whole Foods parking lot. You guys ever seen that uh, video? It's quite accurate. Except the one in Boise is uh, pretty good for that kind of stuff. Let me just show you guys a little something. I was rather good today and uploaded Bryce Canyon video. Uh, this one I think is my favorite video that I've made so far. Um, I just feel like the quality is there. The entertainment value is there. I think it has a nice flow. I use different songs. Um, it's either, it's uh, actually rather long, but it flies by pretty quickly. Um, quick update. Looks like I'm not going to meet up with my friend. She's sick. She got her friend sick. Her friend got all of her other friends sick, so I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because uh, I got to get back to Washington towards the end of the week. I'm going to install a shower. Uh, some other things. Um, so, I'm going to use the facilities. I'll be back. I'll introduce you to my friends. If they do come by, they should be in like 15 minutes. Uh, and then we will hit the road and go to possibly some hot springs. My friends are here. It looks like I need to shut the doors, keep the door closed. Need to quarantine the area. Got to keep the germs out. Hey. That's where my shirt is. The one you gave me? Oh, I gave it to you? Yes. Oh, well, looks good. <laughs> looks good on you. By the way, everybody, this is my great friend, Anamik. We've been oh, okay. friends for, I don't know, 10 years or something like that. She's too sick to, uh, to travel this week. <laughs> mm. You feeling better? Contagion. Some funk? Don't, don't be done with. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We had a phenomenal lunch and great catching up with one of my best friends and one of her good friends. That's Kylie, by the way. I forget if I Hello. introduced she you guys. Imitated. That's right. Congratulations on graduating. Thank you. You know what you should do with your life? What? Buy all a school it. bus. You should do all of it. <laughs> um, but it is weird not to touch you guys and give hugs. But you should get sick. Come here. No, get no, I'm old. good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm all right. <laughs> the weirdest get together ever. I'll see you later. By the way, this one's moving to uh, South Africa and getting married. I mean, you're invited. You all can come. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is staying here in Boise. <laughs> Look at how amazingly beautiful this is. This is uh, north of Boise, about a half an hour or so. There's a town of Horseshoe Bend right up here. And I'm just so impressed with these green rolling hills and, and the sky. The contrast is just incredible. I think uh, more towards the summertime, it does get a little brown and yellow from the, the grass uh, drying up. But man, <laughs> you guys who live in Idaho are pretty lucky. This is where I pulled over on uh, Highway 55 between Banks and Big Eddie. I just want to let you guys know that I do listen to the comments. Someone said, could you tell us what highway you're on? Um, GPS coordinates. Uh, it'll be kind of hard to do GPS of every single place I go. If anybody has an easy way for me to map my route, please let me know in the comments because I would love to share that with you. It's just with everything I'm doing, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to keep track of. It. And I'm like it's at least seven days behind. So if I were to edit this and within seven days, it'd be kind of hard to to keep track of that information you know what I mean so um, anyways I just want to let you guys see what why I pulled over the spring water flow is pretty intense um, I think I'm at like mile marker 85 or something like that and uh, this river is raging it's pretty awesome um, it's been a little hard to film this whole thing with the handheld because there's so many sharp turns and everything like that. Obviously, getting somewhere safe is more important than making, you know, uh, 
uh, you know what I mean, making a video. So, um, but check this baby out. It is just, it is awesome. Oh, and by the way, I'm now in national forest land, so all the hills went from grass to trees. So that is pretty awesome as well. Skits? Yeah. Do you do skits? Hmm? Do you do skits? No. <laughs> That's my nickname. Cool. Guys, this is Ashton and Jaden, right? Yep. Cool. And uh, I just pulled over on the side of the road to so uh, use the dump trunk. And uh, I realized that I'm 20 miles past my destination. I got to go back that way because <laughs> there's a hot springs up the road these kids were telling me about, but you got to pay. You know, I'm on a budget. I don't want to pay. So <laughs> I'm going to head back that way. And. Uh, I think it's on BLM land or forest land, so I can probably park there overnight for free. And it's gonna be amazing because there's no clouds in the sky tonight. So. That can go out here that mountain back there. What, what mountain? That mountain that has like this flat curved top up there. Yeah, what's Jug Handle. Jug Handle. Mm -hmm. Cool. Really good camping spot up there if you can get up there. It looks a little snowy right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, guys. Well, thanks for signing the bus and thanks for the info. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Remember what I said? Learn to edit and you guys can be a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> cool. See you guys. Good news, bad news. Good news, I think I'm here. Um, I think it's just down there. But I got some bad news. And I'm actually glad that I found the bad news before I turned the engine off. Because look at what's happening with the key right here. The engine's running. So. Uh, there was a Ford dealer back in one of the towns that I passed through. I don't recall which one, but I'm a little bummed because I can't turn the engine off. It's a really good thing. It's a very good thing that I filled up the gas tank in Boise because otherwise I would have been up a creek without a paddle. I just don't know what to do. Should I drive back to Boise? Or should I drive back to the little small town where they have a Ford dealership? Um, I don't really know. I don't know what to do now. Uh, let's go check out the hot springs. All right, we are here. That is the hot water jumping out of the earth and that's a little pool and there's a little bit too much water flowing in and it's it's making it's making the hot tub not so hot there's another one a little bit up the way though let's go check that one out if we can that is my idea of a hot springs pure and natural so it looks like you gotta cross a little river and then all that hot goodness just pours out of the uh, the source, which is a little bit over there. But what an awesome little spot here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
You know, even though I do have good Sam, uh, I really don't want to use it. I'm gonna drive back to Boise. I'm gonna go straight to the Ford dealership. It's gonna take me about two hours. I'm gonna backtrack everything that I drove today and there's a good chance I might install that myself, if possible, to save a little money. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward, and I have YouTube to watch all the install videos. So, <laughs> oh man. Well, on the bright side, I'm glad I didn't get stuck out here, although getting stuck at a hot springs wouldn't be the worst location. Um, so there's always that to look forward to. Life could be worse. I'm still traveling for a living. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's just what happens on the road when you have a 13-year-old bus and a lot of ambition. So, uh, it'll be good to get this thing fixed and uh, ready for the road, ready for more adventures. So, without further ado, let's go back to Boise. Hey, hey.